question 22, got an algebraic equation to solve here. And you notice I've got these annoying denominators, so that's the first thing I want to do before I try and go ahead and solve it. So I'm going to get rid of this denominator first. I'm going to multiply everything by x minus 2. So I'm going to multiply this first term by x minus 2. I'm going to multiply the second term by x minus 2. And I'm going to multiply the 2 by x minus 2. So that gives me, if I write this out again, if I write it underneath, I've got, uh, I'll have, well, if I multiply by x minus 2 and divide by x minus 2, just leaves me with 3. Then I've got 8 lots of x minus 2. Still got my denominator, I'm just going to put it in brackets, x plus 3. And then I've got 2 lots of x minus 2. Now, this time, I'm going to multiply every, all three terms by x minus 3. So I'm going to multiply this first term by x minus 3, this middle term by x minus 3, and this last term by x minus 3. And that should give me, if I just write it all out, I get 3 times x minus 3. This x minus 3 is going to cancel with this. Oh, there should have all been pluses. That's my mistake because it says plus here, so it's plus, plus, and plus. So that makes this one a plus. And then I've got this x plus 3 and this x, x plus 3. Oh, that's why I chose to do it, is to cancel out. So I've got 8 lots of x minus 2. And then this one, you're going to see that I'm going to get both x minus 2 and x plus 3. Now, I'm going to just multiply this out. So this is our equation. This looks a little bit simpler, although there's quite a lot of x's going on. And I'll multiply everything out. So over here I get 3x plus 9. I get 8x minus 16. And then here I get, well, I'm going to get an x squared. Let's just think over here. x minus 2 times x plus 3 multiplied out is going to give me x squared plus 3x minus 2x which is uh, plus x and then I'm going to get minus 2 times a 3 which is a minus 6 but I want all of this times by 2 so if I have a 2 in front that means I'm going to get 2x squared 2x and I'm not going to have minus 6 I'm going to have minus 12 instead so that's going to give me 2x squared plus 2x minus 12 and then let's just sort everything out so here I've got on the left hand side I've got 11x and plus 9 minus 6 gives me minus 7 and here I've got 2x squared plus 2x minus 12 now I'm going to just bring everything to the right hand side and have a 0 on the left hand side 2x squared, I'm going to take off 11x from both sides of my equation, so that makes minus 9x, and I'm going to add 7, which gives me, um, my apologies, oh, which gives me minus 5. Okay, then I've got to go ahead and I've got to factorise this. So we're going to factorise this, 2x squared minus 9x minus 5, and have it equal to 0, which is going to give me a double bracket. Well, the only way to get 2x squared is if I've got a 2x and an x, and I want to make minus 5. So I can do plus 1 and minus 5, or I can do minus 1 and plus 5. But when I multiply one of them by, so it's just which way around the brackets I get, when I multiply them by 2x, I want to have a total of nine, minus 9x. So that tells me I'm going to put my minus 5 opposite my 2x. I'm going to use this pair, and I'm going to use minus 5 there, which gives me minus 10x, and then plus 1 here. 
So I still get the minus 5 from the multiplication, but when I multiply the x's out, it collects together. And that just tells me, so if I just come up here now, it tells me that the first bracket is 0, two things multiply to make 0, the first bracket is 0, or the second bracket is 0. So the second bracket being 0 is easy, because the only thing that makes it 0 is if x is 5, and then this one, well I know that 2x is going to be minus 1, so x is going to be half of that, minus 1 over 2. So, my solutions are x equals minus a half or 5.